Hey guys, this is Shane and welcome to my Curator of the Lost channel. Today, hey, we're going to continue this uh, kind of a, a series uh, that I've been doing. I've done a couple of them on how to train your eye on what types of books to, to pick up, to buy, to find for resale. And specifically, this video is how to train your eye on books that are in the history genre. It's a, you know, history is a it's a it's a really wide you know you can have civil war history world war one world war two you can have more like genealogy history history of things right so we're going to go through a bunch of these uh books on ebay what i what i do is after this intro i'm just i go and and put the filters on and go through ebay sold comps and you'll just, it's my reaction and thoughts and my experience and and what you know really just turns me on there that of something that if i saw this you know, I'm not scanning every book. If I saw this on the shelf with my eye, it's the sort of thing that I would pick up and delve deeper on to try to buy for resale profit. So, um, you know, I'm going to cut away from this and we'll go through it. And then I'll, I'll come back at the end and uh, some closing remarks. Okay. So I guess before we jump, I just want to thank you. Thanks for the view. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe, hit that subscribe button. We're getting close to 6,000 subscribers, which is awesome. And you guys give me some feedback. If you like this kind of thing, I'll keep doing them. We'll, uh, you guys keep watching. I'll, we'll, we'll keep doing this and see what happens. So remember, see cool, buy cool. And let's learn about history, the his genre books, history, book of history genre. Is that how, book, how to find books, train your eye to sell books that are in the history type genre. So, all right, cutting away now. All right, so today I want to, to work on training my eye and increasing my knowledge on books that are in the history uh, genre. Uh, so to do that, I'm gonna start from the eBay main page and I need to first get into the books, you know, section of eBay. Look at your uh, breadcrumb here at the top, you know, eBay, books and movies, books, down into books. Look. 33 and a half million books active. Um, you know, the first thing I want to do is go under genre and let's turn history on and see how many active books are on history. Three and a half million active. Uh, let's go to all filters and we're going to just go to what's sold. Okay. That's usually under show only. You can find this on your phone. Usually all this are just under filters on your phone if you're if you're searching using your phone as to the desktop. Now I've got 277 sold books with uh, you know in the history genre, something when somebody tagged it, got tagged and put as a history as a subject, right? Um, let's sort these by highest first. And I'm gonna zoom in on this a little bit to make it a little bit easier for people that are you know, looking on their phones, they can see the images a little bit better. Um, okay, let's let's just go down. This is the first page. Let's see some of these early ones. I feel like they're you know they're so you know niche. You're never going to find them. Um, now this is cool. I've never seen this, but I would totally get into this. The history of Middle Earth. That's uh, you know Tolkien, Hobbit. You know Lord of the Rings kind of world. Uh, Fifteen hundred bucks. That's I've never seen those, but that's totally cool. That that volume set would be something I would totally look for. Um, yeah. Okay, Remington rifles. This is it's funny that this is under history, but I guess it's like history of the Remington rifle, the twenty two rimfire. I like this sort of thing because it um, you know it covers. Okay, there's a history component to it, but there's collectibles, shooting. Anytime I see anything on handguns, rifles, shotguns, any kind of military type firearm. I always check it out. I've had great success and it always has a great resale. Um, you know, it's definitely worth looking up. There's another set of those Middle Earth books. Um, okay, look, Ferrari in the camera. This is kind of the same kind of thing, right, as, as the guns. Whenever I see fancy car books, Lamborghini, Ferrari, uh, Porsche, uh, you know, any the Mercedes, I look those up. It, it gets into transportation, car collectibles, car enthusiasts. Um, this is a crazy expensive one, but I've never found anything this expensive. But it, whenever I see these, I look for them. So that's, you know, we're, part of it is that we're not necessarily just, you know, just going to, to see, you know, if, 
if things are are good, you know, they can be worth 50 bucks and it's still, if you can get them for a dollar, that's awesome. Right. Um, here's one, this, okay. Again, I don't think I'll ever find the specific book, but it tells me something, the story of the Convair B 36. If I were to see a book on military aircraft and the history of that aircraft, it might not be a thousand dollar book, but it could be a hundred dollar book. It could be a $25 book. It's, it's a subject matter in that kind of history, military history kind of thing that I want to look for. Um, let's see, let's, let's scroll on down. So there's, oh, there's another one of those Remington books. Then, okay, just you know, collection. I'd, I'd put this in collectibles, but I guess while we're, you know, this is something that's kind of niche. A lot of times these are more in like the, coffee table books that are often passed by, but don't know anything about this. Um, but kind of a, kind of a cool topic. It looks pretty. Um, oh, all oh, right. This is interesting one. All right. See this 10 year history of the long bell lumber company. I have seen and had some success in the past with, you know, companies that, that they'll do a book on their like their 50 year history or their 75 year history or their hundred year history. And I don't know if it's sometimes people are, like maybe they used to work there or their parents worked there or, you know, but I've had some success reselling these kind of, they're usually not like 11 volumes. Usually it's like, you know, a single volume glossy kind of, you know, where we are from when we started till today. Right. So, but it's something to look out for. Um, let's drill down to about 10 pages and, and get something that's a little more moderately priced. Um, Greek mosaics. That's kind of cool. Um, oh, this is something, wow. This one is like this Comanche marker trees of Texas. This is something that I would totally, I mean, it's like, you know, like we're like native Americans would, you know, use trees for different markers and signs and things. I and mean, this is such a, a, just an off the wall topic, right? It'd be something that I totally see what it says about it. Um, native American practice of creating, designating, making use of marker trees. Yeah. I mean, I would totally look at this, maybe even just for myself, but that is just a, the, kind of the sequel cool by cool thing that I would, I would look out for. I don't know if I'll ever see this book, but it gives you a, a feel for what I like to find and what works for me in my store. Um, oh, here's one right beside it. It's something totally cool, right? I mean, it's just got this awesome cover and then it's Nordic tattooing. I mean, you see this, you've got to look at, look it up and see what it's about and see if there's value there. Right. But that would be again, kind of that weird, you know, it, that's, that's cool. Um, oh, this is one that I don't know anything about the master and the margarita, but I would look, look at, look this one up and see what it's about just based on, on the, on the artwork. I mean, that is crazy cool artwork. Um, yeah. Swedish Grace, the Forgotten Modern. Hmm. What's, what's that about? I don't know if it's architecture or if it's, uh, what's it say? Uh, oh, yeah. It looks like it's about architecture, modern, you know, design. Um, yeah, that's that's pretty cool. Okay. Let's, let's roll on down. I'll tell you what, we, I think what might be interesting to do, it's another on, Toyota uh, 2000 GT, hmm. Brooklyn Gang Summer 1959. That's that looks cool. I would definitely look look at that. Okay, these Winston Churchill's. You know, Winston Churchill was pretty prolific. He did you know this the history of the Second World War. He did I think a book on this is a Folio Society one, but there's different editions of this. He did another one on like the civilization, the world. Um, a lot of times if you can find those at the right price, you know, some of them are five, six volumes. That's a really good set to keep your eye out for. Um, let's see. Oh, look, the, the, the Sten machine car, carbine. That's another kind of military rifle gun type thing. That's in that genre that we talked about with a Remington. Um, always look for those. When you see any those military, uh, type things. I want to do something here. Let's, let's go back up to our filters and I'm going to, to filter on price. Let's, let's see what the, if we get down 
Let's pull up the filters, um, see if we can get to price. And let's, let's set the price around, let's look what happens if we're looking at something like, there's so many of these, 38 to 40 bucks, okay? I'm gonna have to scroll down to hit apply. All right, there's still 3,000 books that sold between 38 and 40. And for the average person out finding stuff, right? I mean, the expectation of finding a book that's worth 500 bucks, I mean, you hit one every now and then, but you know, if you can find books that are in this 40 to $50 range and you can, you know, this 38 to $40 range and they are, um, you know, you're paying just a couple of bucks for them, there's good value there, right? And let's, let's just look through these. I've got a bunch of these from Australia. Um, let's scroll down, I think maybe how they're, they're priced. Let's see this. It's kind of interesting here, these Tom Life. I've sold some of these sets before, but I don't think that's a full set, but you get a bunch of those for 40 bucks, that weight and size, it's not worth it. There's just, just a few of those that are, Okay, I just sold a set of these for much more than 40 bucks. I had a set of these that sold this Story of Civilization, Will and Ariel Durant. I sold a set of these for like 105 bucks. So if you get all of these, I'm not sure why this one's just 40, because I just sold one of these, like I said, for over 100 bucks. Um, let's, let's go on down and see what else we... Okay, Folio Society, you know, those are always good to look at. Um, Slave systems in Greek and Roman antiquity. It's, you know, one of those a topic uh, erotic figures. I'm not sure why erotic figures in Japanese art. I'd put that more art instead of history. Um, you know, you've got another art, propaganda art. It's kind of into that World War II type stuff. Let's go down. Let's go down about five, five deep and see what we're finding. Okay. Uh, that's it. You know, you could find these sometimes cheap, you know, this Bill O'Reilly, somebody bundled those or people getting creative. You get these for 50 cents each and sell, sell, sell all the Bill O'Reilly's for 40 bucks. That's an interesting thing. Um, look, there's remember some of those, those high dollar ones, but here, Shelby Cobra, uh, the history of Shelby Cobra. It's a $40 book. It's nice. Um, Okay. These images of America, that's interesting that I've sold some of these individually. It's a lot of times they're not worth uh, that much, but if you can get them, somebody bundled 12 of these together. Um, they're, they're actually, they're, they make these for a lot of different towns. Um, okay. Here's one. I've, I've sold these for like a Revolutionary War you know, something that, you know, talks, it's like illustrated photo history of the uniforms and awards. I think, you know, obviously military, you know, enthusiasts, but also people that do scale modeling and painting. It's a good reference books, but there's one for the Ukrainian army, you know, historical history things for about 40 bucks. Um, okay. Let's keep on, keep on trucking here. See what else. All right. Somebody had, Books on submarines, 40 bucks. It's kind of cool. Put them together. Sometimes I think how things get tagged with history on this are not. Um, okay, here's, oh, look, this is, uh, you know, remember Band of Brothers, the great, you know, uh, uh, Ambrose books, but they did the great HBO series. Here's Dick Winters. It's signed, 40 bucks for a signed copy. That's nice. Let's scroll on down. Let's go about, about 10 deep and see what we're finding. All right. Artist painting. The Great Salt Lake Trail. Okay. You know, I haven't seen, you know, what's funny are these, these Foxfire books. They, they usually sell pretty good. But, um, man, when I find these around here, people price them really high. They'll price them 5 to $8 a piece, and there's just there's no meat on the bone. Um, they, they sell, you know, a lot of times for 10 to $15 each. But, um, when I find them around in my sources here in Northern Alabama, they're just way, way overpriced. I just, I never can make anything. Now, this is something that I would, I, a genre in history that I totally have success and love buying. 
Okay, so this is sites and structures of Hancock County, Illinois. So, you know, this gets, you have his, historical buildings, but it's history and things in a specific area, right? A specific town or township, a county, you know, a state. This is something I would completely look for. So really, really nice. Very good. I, I love this kind of stuff. So, okay, let's, let's just keep on moving. See what, uh, see what we can find. Alice in Bible Land, uh, Bible story books. Hmm. Hadn't heard of those, 16 of them. Uh, okay, this is kind of getting back into this, you know, this history of armies, you know, what kind of outfits and uniforms they wore. Uh, like I said, it's another example. It's kind of funny. I just saw one of those, but um, the Cambridge Mid Medieval History. I think anything medieval... If I see anything medieval, you know, I, I tend to look at it just, you know, or as I was in, uh, um, I was in Ireland one time and they did a tour and the guy pronounced it medieval. I thought that was funny. It, it sounds better than medieval, the medieval. Uh, let's just keep on trucking. The power broker. I, I don't know why that's in history. You just say, you know, when you're, this is something when you're, when you're doing these two, um, you just don't know what how how somebody's tagged it. It could be, it could be good, you know, tagged wrong. You, you can just see some of these things that you might not think should be tagged necessarily as history. You know, you're seeing a lot of stuff here that's about World War II. You know, any if, if I saw this, I would definitely check it out. These these Schiffer military history books, again, they can go from this you know forty dollar range to eighty dollars. Sometimes they're only worth five, four or five dollars. It really just depends on the act, the subject, and you, it's and there's no way around it except to look them up. But if you see it, you know to you know you sh you should be checking it out, right? So this is different fighter squadrons, kind of getting into that kind of World War II kind of specific history, specific, more deep, not generic, right? Um, let's see, I've seen a lot of those right now. Uh, Roger Sherman's. Connecticut Yankee politics and the American revolution. That's kind of fun, fun. Let's just drill down several more pages. So you can see what with, we're still down in this, this $40 range. It's interesting because, you know, I did 38 to $40, right? There's 3000 of them. So they're all going to kind of be in the same, same price, you know, but we're, we're seeing lots of, you know, again, handguns, uh, any, you know, military arms, uh, anything with military equipment, uh, you know, aircraft, World War II type things. Uh, okay, here's one that, again, falls into that, you know, specific history of an area, Lauderdale County, Mississippi. People like these, like it says here in the listing, genealogy. When I get these, I will tend to put genealogy in the title so that if somebody is doing Mississippi genealogy or that area, it, it kind of tweaks that interest. That's That's a really good tip on just how to list, um, you know, Rockford, Illinois, Rockford peaches. Um, they were, they might be, uh, you know, that's tying into the old, um, um, the women's baseball, right? The Rockford peaches. Um, he, you know, this, this is what I would, you know, his historic Gales Ferry village, this, I love, you're seeing a lot of these. I'm glad we're seeing this in this this $30 to $40 range now, right? Cortland County. This is, I have really good success with these. And it's 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 a good good thing to look for anytime you see them. Um, okay. Nebraska History Quarterly. Look, they misspelled Nebraska. Always look at your spelling. That, that could kill you on lookup, right? Let's see. What's that? Uh, Hardy Boys. I'm not sure why that's in history tag. That's the ranch in Spanish Texas. Looks like a, you know, kind of an interesting. The Johnstown Flood. I've I've sold a couple books on on Johnstown and and the flood there in the 1800s. Gunnison Country, Colorado history. You know, so you're, you're kind of getting getting the, the flavor. You know, when you, uh, this, this type of, uh, you know, small town, small town stuff. Um, okay. Culture and commerce at Fort Hall. 
the Shoshone Bannocks. So you got some Native American. Uh, that's what's this one? Oh, okay, it's getting in some high school yearbooks. Somebody put that's I would put that in a different topic, but you know, I see the special vintage ones on that. I, I'll check them out. Uh, the swashbucklers, more aviation, marine fighting squadron, small arms. Look, the history of Idaho. And this is, again, this is something, this is a real vintage one, 1920. It looks like it's volume three. Um, you've just got to check it out. It's, you know, it can be, but the thing is when you're training your eye, it's separating the wheat from the chaff, right? And, you know, it's, I would, if I saw that as a vintage something, I definitely would check it out. Um, railroad stuff. You know, it's funny, we hadn't seen much railroad stuff, but if it's in, I guess, you know, you can, I think it's in, you know, railroad memorabilia type stuff, but can be the, in the history of that, but railroads are good. Uh, here's, here, look, Idaho, prehistory to 1920. Um, kind of get the feel for those, right, when it's on area histories. Okay. See, this is something to me like the Roman Empire. I probably, there's a, if it was just a generic Roman Empire book, I would, I might would pass that by, but if it's, one of these that was, you know, an Osmoff, you know, of, you know, sci-fi, you know, writer, foundation, you know, he did lots of, he, he did lots of other books on, you know, physics and all kinds of different subjects, very pro prolific. If it was a generic book on Roman Empire, I have to be honest, I probably would skim over that. I would miss it. But when I would see Roman Empire, Isaac Osmoff, I would pull it and check it. So... You know, there's certain things that 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 tr trip your memory or trip, you know, things you've had past success on. Um, just, you know, just for me, I, everybody's different. The um, okay, we got the Tulsa District Corps of Engineers. Okay, it's what kind of I, I have no idea why Dungeons and Dragons monstrous compendium is here in history, but. Um, okay. This is kind of interesting. I, this, this, I see this for churches. I've had some good success with this and it's something I would, I would check out for, um, the, you know, a pictorial history of like a church, in this case, a temple that is, that's something that is, that's very, you know, unique niche. And, and, and it's something I would, I would buy at the right price. You don't get this for one or two bucks. I actually have a story on one of these. I found, um, uh, a genealogy book one time and it had some church bulletins that you know from the 60s 1960s that went through all the the deacons and and preachers and all the, the history of, of this church up in Clarksville Tennessee and I just put it in a folder and wrote a little note that I found it I found the church was still in existence it was like it had been around for like 150 years and I just wrote them a note and sent it to them and several weeks later I get this thing in the mail and they wrote me a note back and saying that they were getting ready for like their 150th anniversary. They'd had a fire like 20 or 30 years ago in their records room and lost all this information. And they were so thankful for it. And obviously they said, anytime I'm in town, come and if I want to come visit the church, that's cool. And they sent me a $25 uh, Olive Garden gift card with their thing. So that was pretty cool. It always makes me think of these, you know, you know, church, temple, you know, histories. It's, it's kind of a good thing to look at. Um, okay. This looks like history of a particular Ashby's cavalry, probably civil war, um, you know, particular br brigade. That's one, you know, I like when on civil war and world war two things for me, the more specific they get, like when they get kind of, you know, it's not like just generic world war two or generic civil war, when it's like this and it gets down to a specific kind of, you know, item, you know, this, the brigade, you know, this one brigade or one cavalry unit. I like that stuff a lot better. Um, it's, let's see, what's, uh, okay. General Thomas Woodward reminisces. Okay. You know, sometimes I, I you know, I've, I found this stuff to be, you know, where somebody's like, it's almost like in their, their biography autobiography hit or miss on those but something to for me to, to remember and think about um okay let's just let's go a couple more and you know i think you're getting some of the you know some of the idea of of what i look for you know 
Um, I think this is something for us um, in the U.S. to think about. You know, sometimes when you see stuff that's um, that's not in English, you know, in Spanish, it's in French, it's in German, don't just pass it over because it's foreign language, you know. Check it out. That's, you know, I, I've got this one library bookstore that has of mine that has a um, foreign language section. I'm having some pretty good, you know, some, some pretty good success out of it. Um, okay. Hembrillo, an Apache battlefield. That's, that's kind of cool. Very specific history. Um, I'll drill down about another four, four or five pages in here. Um, this looks like it's actually the, uh, this gazette. It's, this might be bound magazine. So let's see what it, let's see what it drilled down here. Let's see if it, mm, it's hard to say. Okay, this looks like a directory. Okay. I guess it is just different parts. Kind of cool. So my, you can tell that's like a, a post binding, right? They, they took some paperback stuff and put a hardback binding on them. Okay. Historical sketches of Sumter County. This, again, getting into too specific. Um you know, township and county histories. Here's family histories. This gets into the genealogy. Um, artillerist manual. That's pretty cool. There's the more old yearbooks. You know, yearbooks, I like them. They're hit, they're hit or miss for me, you know. They are kind of heavy and take up space. If I find cool ones, I like to get them uh, at the right price. You know, I want to get them for a dollar or two dollars tops. I don't want to pay a whole lot for them. Some of my estate sales, they'll put, they'll see yearbooks and they'll put five or 10 bucks on them. And it's just not worth it to, for me to tie that up. Let's uh, see if we see anything else interesting. Um, the absorption and dispersion of ultrasonic waves. I have no idea why that's in the history filter. You get more of, you know, you know, these different military naval ships in this case, but coloring things. Milwaukee hospitals, you know, so you kind of get it, get it, get an idea. Um, we'll go, we'll go one more. Let's see if we find anything that just knocks our socks off this. And, you know, it's kind of funny to me that, you know, we're seeing a lot of these kinds of, um, county history books, uh, township history books in this $40 range. I strongly suspect that if I called it out at 70 or $80 or, that I might see a lot of the same stuff, you know? Um, now this was one that I would, you know, Knights Templar, it's kind of a cool topic, but the artwork on this would make me check it out. I, I love that. That's, that's awesome. Pictorial history of Washington County. That's a, another, here's one. See, look, I told you like the, the County, the Monarch cement company, 40 bucks for their kind of their hundred year history of two volume set, you know, Blunt County, you know, in, in Tennessee, Kind of getting over, I think, in the eastern Tennessee area. But I think this, uh, hopefully this gives you, you know, gives you some ideas of, you know, the types of things in history. Definitely a couple of, uh, um, you know, areas to, to look for. Um, caves of Missouri. Now, see, that's something I would totally look for. And it, I like it because it, it gets in multiple multiple things, right? You got Missouri, but you actually get specific caves uh, to check out. And that's, you know, it checks multiple boxes of, of potential interest. So it's definitely something to, to look for. All right. So we're going to call it call it done. Hopefully this gives you kind of some idea. And we'll, uh, we'll tie it up with what maybe, you know, a summary here. All right. That's, uh, you know, if you stuck around for that, you, you got a... Uh, a wide array of things we saw, right? And, and you know, I, I think the takeaways for that, one of my favorite things to sell in the history genre, and I find that are, are, are really profitable. A lot of times you can find them for a dollar or two, at least in North Alabama. It's history of certain towns or counties, or it's not just like state history, but it could be, you know, histories of a particular, you know, small township or a county. It could be history of a certain event in a particular area. I do really well with that, and I love selling that kind of stuff in my store. I think it's kind of interesting. It's cool. I like it. Um, also, I, I noted there were some things on 
I like company histories, you know, like, hey, here's what we did in our last 100 years or something. That's that's a good one to look out for. Anything history of automobiles, cars, especially fancy cars, you know, the great, you know, you know, British, Italian kind of things, you know, uh, hist anything that's history of, um, you know, firearms, guns, shotguns, anything like that. It's, it's always good. Um, my experience is in like, you know, Civil War, um, you know, World War I, World War II. The, the more of a niche type thing it is, if it's, you know, not just World War II as a whole, more of a niche that you come down and you're looking at a particular battle or a particular, um, you know, unit, cavalry unit or regiment, that that typically I find I've had a better success with that than something that's generic. It kind of gets the, the cool factor gets, you know, goes up. So um, those are all just, you know, it's just examples. And, and you know, over time, if I do this again in history, it's going to be different books out there. And it's it's just such a wide, wide, you know, area of, of things to look at. But hopefully that the point of these videos, it's, you know, I can call it out, but it's also for you to learn how to do this yourself, right? Go down hit those soul comps, sort it, and and just go through. That's lunch, you know, you're feeling bored one day, just, just look 15 minutes, go through it. I'm telling you, you do that, your sense of what will sell will get better. It'll increase. It'll, 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 you will see the rewards when you're trying to pick the uh, wheat from the chaff in, in your stores. It's, you'll gravitate toward these cool things and you'll, you'll see that in your bottom line with better profit. So, Again, thanks for the views. If you guys out, you know, got, getting some good feedback on on this style of thing, you know, I'll sprinkle these in with my normal. Here's what I found. Here's what you know. I'm I'm buying, selling, you know, sold comps, all that sort of thing. And in addition to just um, general selling philosophy, and um, you know, if you guys like it, I'll keep doing it. And uh, remember, see cool, buy cool. And again, if you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Thanks for the channel support, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.